What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video and this right here is something special because this right here is the start of the complete guide to Roblox graphics. So some of you guys want to learn but are confused because some of the things that we do are um, a bit more advanced. This right here is going to be the complete guide from start to finish. This is the first part, the first episode. So uh, yeah, this right here is for the complete beginners. So if you're a bit more advanced, just wait for the future parts. All right, so to get started in Photoshop, you wanna go to File and hit Create New or just hit Create New right here. And as you can see right here, um, there are multiple um, canvases you could use. Here are my most uh, often used canvases. So I'm just going to explain dimensions to you and a couple that you could use. So for thumbnails, the most suggested is to use 1920 by 1080. I always use a resolution of 100. So for thumbnails, you want to go for 1920 by 1080. Um, that's for graphics. For YouTube thumbnails, you want to go for 1280 by 720. Uh, that's just basically a smaller version because for YouTube and um, the file sizes. So yeah, this right here is a poster size. Um, I use for the the night, the speed art we just uploaded uh, yesterday. Right here, 512 by 512. This right here is a square canvas. This is perfect for profile pictures, for Twitter, Roblox groups, your Discord. For logos, I use 3000 by 1950. This is a very large file, so your file size is going to be pretty big. But for today, let's start off with the most commonly used 1920 by 1080. I'm just gonna hit create all right so here we are inside photoshop and i'm just gonna go over some very very basic basic things for you guys what can we start off with all right so right here on the right side panel here is your layers tab um if you don't see this or your layout is different from mine what you could do is you can go up to window and over here you will have all these windows 3d actions and adjustments um i like to add navigator right here so this will pop pop up here and you can drag it and add it into your your sidebar right here so navigator you can zoom in move it around and zoom out it's uh very neat so right here is color the uh, color color box you could uh, adjust your colors so the uh windows i have on my sidebar i have the navigator the brush and brush settings right here the character this is for text and i have my adjustments and properties right here so those are the ones i have obviously i have my layers and the little color box and if you notice right here i also have my rulers how you can enable this is you can hit control r this will um enable and disable your rulers this is useful because you could use this to um, drag out and it could really help you make things precise so all right the first thing we're going to start off with is how to make a new layer your new layer button is going to be right here right down here is gonna yep create a new layer you just want to hit that now that you have made your new layer your background layer is completely separate if you hit this i button this will hide the specific layer so i can hide the background and now it's transparent but as you can see right here i have the layer one selected so anything i make will be added onto this layer let's just start off with something super super basic let's just use our text tool and add some text so you want to hit your text tool here you have your font so you can choose a font of your choice let's just pick something unique for this video um i'm gonna go for last ninja right here here is your font style font weight um usually there's gonna be bold light medium regular black autos this is your text size the text size depends on your canvas size so for this one right here i might go for 250 and right here you want to choose your color so we're just gonna choose our color and we go for a nice blue color I hit okay and right here you can choose your text alignment this matters 
this is important because if you're doing UI, um, do you want your text aligned on the left side? This makes it easier for you to copy and paste and uh, just do interface stuff. So for this one, I want mine aligned to the middle. I'm just gonna click right here. I'm just gonna type out GFX comments. If your text is too big like this right here, you can hit control A, go up here and change the, uh, the size and hit enter. Still a bit too big. All right, GFX comments right here. All right, now uh, we're gonna space this out into two lines. I want this right here on the second line. So I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna hit enter. But as you can see, this is merged together for some reason. This is not what we want. So how do we fix this? We hit control A to select all of our text. And right here we go to our character panel. And like I said, if you don't have this, go to window and hit character right here. So we're gonna go right here to set the leading and we're just gonna go to this icon right here until this arrow pops up. And we're just going to drag this to the right side, as you can see. And um, the text is on the left side for some reason. So we're gonna hit control A to select all and click on the align to the middle we're going to select our move tool this is the top tool right here is the first tool i'm just going to drag our text right into the middle all right youtube that's going to do it for this first part um this is the very 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 basics just recap what we covered we covered some dimensions and canvas sizes that you could use for certain things for certain projects um we covered some basics on the text tool, how to add some text, how to make a new layer as well. And uh, yeah, in part two, we're gonna go over some more. If you guys want this series to continue, make sure to drop a like down below and also comment down some ideas you may have for uh, some future parts of this series. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.